what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john city 4 here bringing us more black ops 3 multiplayer gameplay hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay because i managed to go 85 kills with this lmg called the brm now this brm lmg it's actually the first lmg to unlock and i'm pretty sure most of you guys are already gonna start criticizing this weapon because every single weapon that you unlock first like the cuda or the assault rifles like the kn are mostly weak but the PRM, I'm telling you, it's still very powerful for long range. I took it into Nuketown and I'm telling you, I did beast it up here. And it was just a total massacre most of the time. Like the previous gameplay before this one, it was like 65 kills. And then the previous one was 50. And then the previous one, which is the one that I lost in the first gameplay that I did here, it was like 30 and 25. I wasn't doing that good because I was barely getting used into Nuketown. And then right when I got used to it, I was like, all right, so this is what I had to do. I already knew the spawn points. I already know like some angles where the enemy's going to come out from. And um, I just did super good with the BRM. I kept my distance and I just got all my kill streaks and I was just committing massacres out there. So the BRM best class setup will be coming out on Thursday, guys. And this class setup, if you guys want to just chill, if you guys want to keep your distances, if you guys want to keep your KD super high, the BRM is going to help you guys out with that. So best class setup on thursday for the brm do not forget so anyways moving on to the main topic of today which is about nuketown this map back in the day back in black ops 1 and black ops 2 i did not like the map the only reason why i would play this map back in black ops 2 it was because my uh some people from my friends list like cruel seven Chavez, miss deadwich uh gracie kp and some other people along the way you know my old friends uh, these people wanted to play Nuketown like all the time, so I was like, you know what, I'll join. I'll just join them just for the fun of it, and it was super fun. But the thing is, I didn't like the map. I just, I just didn't like it because it was super small. But now jumping into Black Ops 3 Nuketown, it looks ugly to me. It still looks fucking ugly. I don't like it at all. But the map is now fun. I was like, what the fuck? And I fucked it up in the first gameplay. I was like, god damn it, you know, I f I sucked, but. The map looks wider than before. Like it looks a little bit bigger. You actually have more elbow room. So I believe it looks better now. <laughs> With a little bit more space on the sides and a little bit more of a wider street in the middle. It just gives me this impression of like, God damn, you know, this map's a little bit bigger and it, it is becomes a lot better. Because I hate being spawn trapped most of the time and I hate how some of the enemies just hide in the corner from a long distance just snipe you like you can't even get out of your freaking spawns. That's how it was before but now that we got some jetpacks around here in this map you know and some good walls we, we can run off to and you know there's a lot of ways you can escape from a certain position and compared to the other maps like you just can't compared to the previous nu Nuketown maps. So uh, Nuketown on Black Ops 3 it is a must have it is a very fun map and the playlist itself is also very fun so uh, i want you guys to download this map and you're gonna be doing just fine like how i am right now i'm, I'm getting like around 80 kills right now so um yeah it was a total insane gameplay especially here in hardpoint which is some game mode that i don't even play a lot so um yeah i mean i got a lot of kills it's totally insane look look at this part right here they're all like running into a big chain in the previous gameplay I actually got like four kills back to back because they're all lined up in a big ass chain and I was like what were they thinking running like that so and, and it was with the BRM by the way I, that's how I got all my kills so um, yeah the LMGs for me are doing it perfectly like the Dingo and the other one with the Gorgon uh, the Gorgon I haven't used it a lot but I remember like in the first few days when I tried it out it was like okay-ish but um, I'm thinking of bringing it back so the Gorgon best class setup might even come soon also because the Dingo is another best class setup also that I want to bring in which is another LMG so um, yeah I'm, I'm thinking like going full LMG this month because right now it is beasting it up for me so um, so yeah that's how I want to talk about guys this LMG is a total beast uh, this map it is a great map now since it's a little bit more wider and um, also the, the way the enemies just like they all try to get me like real badly but I was like keeping my distance as much as I can because I know all my enemies had SMGs, shotguns and you know they couldn't get anybody from long distance so this is where I just used my smarts and I was like you gotta keep my distance because they cannot get me from long range so um, so yeah that's why you know I pretty much succeeded in this map so um, yeah and my kill streaks I did get them all by the way I wish I had higher kill streaks but I like barely prestige recently I'm prestige 5 I believe or prestige 4 and um, well, I had everything reset. I did not. I did not unlock any score streaks permanently, so um, that's why I didn't have high score streaks at all. I wish I would have had the wraps and also the um, 
the little chopper because that would have gotten me even more kills and maybe even land my first 100 gameplay kill. So, 100 kills gameplay, sorry. And um, th that would have been great because I haven't never gotten 100 kills in a gameplay before. So, uh, that's something that I really, really wish to get. So that is it guys, I don't want to talk about best class setup for the BRM will be coming out soon. Also the Dingo, I will be working with it also in the, in the whole weekend. And hopefully I can do better with it and hopefully I can you know, pull out a crazy ass gameplay like this one. As you can see, 85 kills and 31 deaths. It could have been less, but it's like in the second, like the moment we got into 200 points, I started to fuck up. Like I don't even know why I keep checking the score. It's something that I'm just used to like ever since back in the day. So anyways guys, subscribe for more, you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay.